Usual rule number 18. Kata is about correct and proper form, engaging in a real fight with something else. People often misunderstand this translation that they think Master Funakoshi is saying that kata and kumite are two different things. In one sense, they are. I always remind my students, though, that kino, kata, and kumite are all part of the same whole. Kata is the essence of karate. The masters created kata by condensing all karate techniques into a definite form. By practicing kata, you will develop your body movement, rhythm, and timing. You will develop your ability to execute the only individual technique, and you will develop an ability to move naturally from one technique to another. In learning kata, you must come to understand the meaning of application within each kata or muka. In this final step, you need to practice kata while keeping imaginary opponents in the bed front of your mind. Before beginning a kata, come and clear your mind. Find your opponents. Then begin the kata to practice defending yourself. If you continually practice kata, your techniques will ultimately come more naturally. Your techniques will be strong, rhythmic, connected, and flowing. Ideally, in combat, you will use kata techniques unconsciously. It might be slightly different than the exact technique. However, essentially, you will be doing the same thing. One of the beauties of kata is that if you practice kata frequently and correctly, you will find different applications for each movement. And these different applications will automatically emerge when and if necessary in a real life situation. We will execute this concept by performing the kata unsu, followed by its bulka, demonstrated by five offensive attackers at the one karateka, to show you one of an infinite possible fighting situations. <laughs>